many uh, macromolecular complexes inside cells, such as the centrosome or such as a virus, are composed of many different protein species. So you might want to use electron microscopy or electron tomography to get a high resolution structural information about these complexes. However, the, a big problem using these techniques is that you have hardly any information about uh, the protein species that you are interested in or that you are looking at in your current uh, in our microscopy experiment. So uh, we thought about uh, a way to uh, combine fluorescence microscopy and electron microscopy. Uh, that means imaging a large number of uh, fluorescently labeled particles to, to uh, reconstruct uh, a three-dimensional model of, uh, uh, of a multimolecular complex. So in fluorescence microscopy, we typically use high affinity uh, binders like antibodies or nanobodies to label and see only a specific uh, protein of interest with a very high contrast. Uh, so we teamed up with a lab here at EPFL, with a lab of Pierre Gunsi, uh, and labeled and imaged uh, um, human centrioles using high throughput super resolution microscopy. So using that technique, we, uh, we could uh, generate a large number, typically thousands of labeled, uh, fluorescently labeled centrioles particles, to, uh, to, which allowed us to develop um, um, a workflow um, to reconstruct and co-align multiple uh, centriolar proteins within the same 3D uh, model. So we could uh, overcome uh, the contrast uh, um, limitation from electron microscopy uh, by uh, reconstructing multiple uh, components of the human centriole using tools from electron microscopy. The second uh, advantage of using our technique is that we overcome an, a problem that is inherent to fluorescence and especially super resolution microscopy that is the noise due to unspecific or the lack of uh, specific labeling. So using a high, a large number of uh, labeled particles, we could average out uh, this inherent noise which uh, um, uh, generates a higher resolution uh, three-dimensional and also two-dimensional uh, maps of these respective complexes. Uh, so as an example, uh, we uh, reconstructed a four components or four color three-dimensional map of the human centriole and independently could recover the angle of the nascent procentriole which we labeled with the protein uh, against the cartwheel SAS6. Uh, our approach um, is, was developed as a, as a bridge technique between electron microscopy uh, and fluorescence microscopy, which, is, uh, um, which has a large benefit for structural biology. It has very high multiplexing capabilities, so you can image one protein after the other uh, and co-align them with respect to, to each other. Um, we are currently evaluating this technique uh, towards three-dimensional imaging, which makes the entire workflow uh, uh, easier and, and speeds, up the, speeds up the reconstruction process, uh, which we think will, uh, will give us access to uh, a larger variety of different structural problems and complexes.